Hi, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Hi teacher. Hi. Good, good evening. evening. Welcome, everybody. Bienvenidos. I hope you are safe and sound. Espero que todos se encuentren muy bien de salud so we can get started, all right? Let's check. What do we have for today's class? Veamos qué tenemos para la clase de este día. I can't ice skate very well. Class 14. Let's check. El día de ayer estuvimos trabajando con estos guiding examples, right? Utilizando el, el season, sports season, right? Los tipos de deportes que se practican dependiendo de la temporada que exista en el país. So, we have these ones. Estos eran los ejemplos que yo tenía. Let me see. Karina, can you read number one and number two, please? In the spring, Mari plays soccer. In summer, my parents go swimming. All right, my parents go swimming. Very good. Uh, Carlos, can you read number three and four, please? Okay. Number three, in the fall, Matias goes bike riding. Mm -hmm. Four, in the winter, I play basketball. Very good, excellent. All right, listen up. Chequemos esto. Estos eran los examples que teníamos ayer de parte mía, right? Then, ustedes tuvieron este practice time. Que me imagino que ayer, si no terminaron de trabajarlo, pues lo hicieron ahora, en algún break, o in any time. So, let's check. Eh, las instructions decían que tenían que trabajar individual, right? Work individually. Iban a crear cuatro sentences, all right? Four sentences. With the vocabulary learned. ¿Por qué cuatro? Porque habían cuatro temporadas, right? Spring, summer. What were the other ones? ¿Cuáles eran las otras? Winter y fall. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Karina. That's correct. Entonces, eh, solo creo que les dije anoche que hicieran dos, right? Pero eso era porque ya íbamos a terminar. Pero si usted no ha terminado las otras dos, go finish it, all right? Termínela ahorita. You can do it. So, let's get started. ¿Algunos de ustedes ya la andan? ¿Algunos de ustedes ya andan aquí las sentences? ¿Ya las tienen? Uh -huh. Kevin, excellent. Yes, Kevin. Tell me. Read them for me. My parents and I go bike riding in the fall. My parents go bike riding in the fall, uh huh? They are always go swimming in the summer. No necesita poner they are always go swimming. No, puede poner they go swimming. Uh, they go, no, they always go swimming in the summer. All right, así sería correcto, Kevin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Karina. Let me hear you, Karina. Ah, no, Kevin, tiene las otras dos. O las va a hacer. Ya las tengo. Excellent, read them. He plays so hockey in the winter. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's correct. My sister usually plays tennis in the summer. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Kevin. That's correct. Thanks. All right. Let's go with the next one. Ahora sí, Karina, your turn. In the summer, my father play basketball. Mm -hmm. In the spring, I play volleyball. Volleyball. In the winter, my sister goes skiing. In the my parents go hiking. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Repita la número uno de nuevo, Karina, please. In the summer, my father play basketball. Aha. My father play or my father plays? 
play place with s because father is the person all right very good karina thank you another one alguien más que ya haya finalizado sus sentences good evening teacher me hello good evening carla Vale, vamos a iniciar con Víctor y después con Carla, right? Action. Okay. Okay. In the fall, my brother plays football. In the spring, my family go by riding. In the summer, my sister goes uh, swimming. Y uh, in the winter we play basketball yeah it's correct excellent victor no mistakes grammar is correct gramaticalmente hablando están correctos very good let's go with carla please okay in the summer melissa sometimes plays uh, volleyball in the sea in, in the summer carla or in the summer summer and my brother hardly ever goes uh, hiking 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 mm -hmm. very good excellent and the last and um, sometimes and i go to the to the swimming ah sometimes i go swimming i go swim mm -hmm. swimming yes. swimming very good excellent thank you carla let's go with vamos a ver um, vamos con carlos después con claribel luego con ingrid porque esto ya todos tienen que tenerlo right good evening claudia Okay, action, Carlos. Había perdido la pantalla. Había perdido la pantalla. <laughs> okay, don't worry. No se preocupe. No pasa, okay? Okay, aquí este, in summer, my friends play tennis. Uh -huh. In the spring, my brother plays football. Uh -huh. In the winter, my friends play hockey. In the fall, my sisters goes hiking. Very good, excellent, yes. Uh, vamos a ver, um, let me see. My sisters or my sister? My sister. Ah, my sister. Vaya, sí, porque si hubieran sido dos, ya tiene que utilizar el, el ¿cómo se llama? Ya no sí, tendría que haber dicho place. Ajá. Ajá. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Sí, porque iba, ya iban a pasar a ser they, ellas. Right? Very okay. good. Excellent. Thank you, Carlos. Let's go with Claribel and then Ingrid. Teacher, I have only two. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. Okay. In the winter, I drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> In the summer, my son rides, 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 rides his bike. Right, his bike. Very good. Yes, it's correct, Claribel. Thank you. Let's go with Ingrid. <laughs> okay. Ah, no sé si así son. <laughs> Pero pues vamos a hacer el intento, pues sí. Yes, claro que sí. Me ha costado, sinceramente. Pero bien. <laughs> in the in the fall, Luis goes by rain. In the spring, my mother played volleyball. In the winter, my sister played tennis. Uh, in summer, um, in summer, my father got basketball. 
All right. Uh, in, in la que dijo my mother y en la otra que dijo my sister, utilizó uh -huh. el, el verbo play, ¿verdad? Sí. En ambas. Yes. ¿Y le puso play o place? Play, play, play. ¿Es place? All right. Es lo único que le puedo, le puedo aconsejar ahí. Oh, es place, okay. porque ellas son terceras yeah. personas. Place. Ok, es play. Place, ajá. Por ejemplo, let me check. Mm. Like, uy, place. Play. Right. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Este real le dice. Yeah, very good, excellent. That's correct. Uh, vamos a ver. Wales, Wales. ¿Quién más me falta? Thank you, Ingrid. Si estaban correctas, right? Great job. Claudia, usted pasó ayer. No, okay. Today then. Okay. Uh, sería all Sundays my father goes to play soccer. In the summer he likes to go to beach to soup. Uh -huh. yeah. El otro in the winter I like ski. No le escuché, sorry. Sería in the winter. Uh -huh. I like ski. I like to ski. Uh -huh. Very good, yes. ¿Tiene otra Claudia? No. No, son las tres. Ok, very good, pero están correctas. Excelente. Okay, thank you. Y me gustó mucho que dijo goes, all right, al principio. Hizo la intonation como debe de ser. Very good, Claudia. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with um, Alfredo, please. Alfredo Alfaro. Después de Alfredo Alfaro va Eric Lazo y luego Mayra. In the fall, my daughter goes to the mountain. Uh -huh. Mount. In the spring, my brother plays tennis. In the winter, I go to the swimming, but don't go to the beach. Okay, in the, win in the winter? In the winter, I go to swimming. I go swimming. No le puede poner I go to the, porque en español no decimos yo voy a lo que es la natación, no. Solo decimos yo voy a nadar. I go swimming, but don't go to the beach. Yeah, but I don't go to the beach. Yes, excellent. In the, uh -huh. the summer, I go to the beach, but don't go swimming. Ah, <laughs> is it vice versa then? Very good. <laughs> Excellent, okay. bro. Thank you. That's correct. And let's go with Eric. In summer, I play tennis on weekend. On weekends. On uh, weekend. In the fall, John plays soccer with your friends. Mm -hmm. In the winter, Rebecca plays basketball in the afternoons. In, in the afternoons, uh-huh. In spring, I play volleyball at school. Very good, excellent, sir, great job. Let's go with Mayra, please. Okay. In the afternoon, I play soccer. Mm -hmm. On Sundays, I go for a bike ride. My family goes on weekends to swim in the Lempa River. Okay, my that's sister, good. Uh -huh. My sister plays baseball with her friends. When does she do that? ¿Cuándo hace eso, Mayra? En la, en la última. Ah, va unida en esas dos entonces. No, separada. Vaya, pero ahí no me está poniendo en qué temporada lo hace. En qué temporada va a jugar con sus amigos. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. eh. Only that. Gramaticalmente están. Perfect. All right. Okay. Okay. 
Mm, están cayendo los mensajes. <laughs> okay, let me go with another one. Yeah, I think we're finished. Okay, officially we have finished with the season, sports season, all right? Keep in mind that vocabulary, tengan ese vocabulario en la mente, all right? Porque con eso pueden iniciar conversations y pueden, pueden practicar con sus otros compañeros, okay? O con alguien más que sepa. So let me make this one bigger for you. Simple present, WH questions in conversation. I love sports. We have Lauren and Justin. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Justin, well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. War, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, that was funny. <laughs> En realidad no hace ningún deporte, solo lo ve en la televisión, all right? So that's funny. <laughs> and it's understandable. Y es comprensible. So let's go with... I need a volunteer. Necesito un voluntario, please, que sea Justin, para que practique conmigo. Okay, Kevin, excellent. So, Justin, what are you doing in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Whoa, you're really a good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them in the on television. Yes, very good, Kevin. Thank you. That's correct. Ahora sí, pongamos a... Uh... Claribel, you are going to be Lauren, usted va a ser Lauren, and Carlos, usted va a ser Justin, action. Okay, so Justin, what do you do in your free, free time? Uh, well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Well, you are really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Very good job. Excellent. Good, good. Okay, Claribel, repeat after me. Athlete. Sorry? Athlete. Athlete. Very good, excellent. There you go. Thank you. Ah, correct. Okay, it's a short conversation. Es una conversación bien cortita, pero tratemos de darle esa animosidad que merece la conversation. Excelente trabajo, Claribel and Carlos. Let's go with Madeline. Usted va a ser Lauren. Y Victor, you are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love the sport. Really? What is a sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my family, my favorites. Wow, we're a really good athlete. When do you play all their sport? Oh, I don't play the sport. I just watch them on television. Excellent, very good job, good intonation. I believe you guys. De verdad sentí esa conversation. Okay, Madeline, repeat after me. All these sports. All these sports. Yes, very good. Y Victor, mm -hmm. these sports. This sport. Mm -hmm. Sports. Sports. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Ahí está. A veces solo son cositas así bien basic que no fallan como la S, right? Son bien fáciles de volver a, a encarrilarnos con esas cosas porque solo es de costumbre. All right, let's go with Claudia. You are Lauren. Ingrid, you are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what did you do in your first time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? 
Um, hockey, basketball, and soccer are my are my passports. Wow, what are you reading? Good athlete. When do you play or that's it's a sport? Oh, I don't play that. I don't play this sport. I just watch thing on television. Great job, wow. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Claudia, repeat after me. Um, vamos a ver. No, no, usted está bien, Claudia. Uh, Ingrid, okay. repeat after me. Baseball. Best baseball. Baseball. Y favorites. 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 Ajá, excelente. Casi como si uniera una V R O favorites. Favorite. 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 <laughs> Over here, mire. Ve que eh, inicia con F A y luego lleva B O, right? V y O. Póngale una R en medio. Favorites. Sería favorite. Excelente. Very good. Great job. Let's go. Esos son tips, all right? Very good. Vamos con Carla, you are Lauren. Karina, you are Justin. Action. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my Wow, you're really good at athletic. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch, watch them on television. Excellent. Great job. Very good. Good. Um, let me see. Carla, repeat after me. Um, athlete. Absolutely. Excellent. Very good. Solamente okay. Ahora vamos con Alfredo Alfaro. You are Lauren. Usted va a ser Lauren. Eduardo Mejía. You are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do? What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer. I fav I are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch then on television. Great job, excellent, very good, no mistakes. Very good, nothing to improve, no hay nada que mejorar. Let's go with Jimmy, Jimmy Flores, you are Lauren. Y por aquí Jaime Ortiz, you are Justin, action. So, Justin, what do you in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When did you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch team on television. Great job, excellent, great pronunciation. Jimmy, quizás lo único que podemos manejar eh... Mejor sería lo de la palabra athlete. 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 That's it. Right. Eh, teacher, este, yeah. la secuencia del, del pronunciamiento de la última oración, ¿cómo es la correcta? I just, I just watch them on television. Mm -hmm. Así como lo dijo Jaime. Ok, gracias. Yeah, no mistakes. Very good. Vamos bien. Sí, el problema a veces que ocurre es que inventamos o ponemos comas donde no hay, right? Y nos vamos. Eh, your, 
a really good athlete. Entonces ahí es donde, lejos de ir mejorando, nos vamos atrasando, ¿ok? Let me go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente que sería... Mayra, usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad? No, No, ok. Entonces usted va a ser Lauren. Eric, usted tampoco ha pasado, right? No. Ok, ya iba a decir sí. <laughs> Para no pasar, ok. You are Justin, Eric. Action. So, Justin, what do you in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good at athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Great job, excellent. Repeat after me. Eric, eh, vamos a ver. ¿Cuál era? Uh, favorites. Favorites. Ok. Uh, intente ponerle entre la V y la O una R. Favorites. Right. Favorites. Favorites. Uh -huh. favorites. Very good. Favorites. Uh -huh. Very good, excellent. Yeah, try. Como le dije a Ingrid, entre la V y la O, intente ponerle una, una R en medio. Para que le suene como bro. Bro, bro, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Favorites. Excellent. Very good. Favorites. Favorites. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. Great job. Solo me falta Elmer, pero no sé, Elmer, si puede con su audio ahí. It's me. También yo. ¿Quién es yo? <laughs> Sería Lauren. Ok, Elmer, usted va a ser Lauren y Joanny, usted va a ser Justin. Action. So Justin, what do you what do you in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just want them on television. Okay, great job. Excellent. Very good. Repeat after me, Giovanni. Watched. Watched. Uh -huh. Watch. 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 Excellent. Watch. I just watch them on television. I just want to watch them. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very Thanks. good. Thanks okay, you. there you go. Officially, I think I'm not getting sure. anyone. Yes? Teacher, um, they say I just watch them on television. Just solo. Ahí que tendría solo. Sí, yo solo. Yo solo por televisión. A ellos. Ajá. Ve los deportes, them. Ah, está hablando de los deportes. Yes, I just yo watch. Yo que eran people. No, o sea. <laughs> yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Algo sí, así. recuerde que todo lo que es plural, por ejemplo, eh, si yo tengo un grupo de, de animalitos, por así decirlo, right, yo puedo utilizar el day en ellos, porque no sé el género de ninguno de esos animalitos y hay un grupo. Creo que es es este pronouns. It's a pronoun. De... Este es, solo es un pronoun. Subject pronoun. Subject pronoun. De sí, de First, third person. Third, maybe. No, este sería de first person, yeah. First person, yeah. Okay, Dave. Yes. Okay. Yes. Manejando el Dave, very good. Okay, excellent, everybody. Good job with your pronunciation. You are improving so much better. Mi meta, como siempre ha sido con cada curso, es que usted mejore su gramática, su pronunciación, sobre todo, porque... Creo que eso es algo que todos los salvadorian people, it's hard for us, nos cuesta. Porque a veces ni en español terminamos de decir la S, ¿verdad? En vez de decir nosotros, decimos nosotros o nosotros. Y no queremos decir en plural. So, yeah, we got those mistakes. Tenemos esos errores, así que don't worry about it. You just With need to... G. ¿Ah? With G. With J. 
J, it's true. O no decimos la S. La mayoría de cosas no decimos la S, aunque sean plurales. That's something that it's even hard for me sometimes, all right? Yes. Cuando uno ve que hay algo que le afecta, uno trata de manejarlo. Por ejemplo, yo creo que ustedes ya les mencioné que para mí es un poco difícil cuando hay muchas palabras con R, a mí se me traba la lengua, entonces tengo que ir despacio pronunciando cada una de ellas cuando son muchas, right? Por el mismo pronunciation de la R, que es la R, right? So you need to learn those mistakes, from those mistakes. Drummer focus. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. What do you do? No, who do you play baseball with? I played with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play a hunter park. How often do you practice? We practice once. Aquí no es once, aquí es once. Once or twice a week. Una o dos veces por semana. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, let me see. Vamos a tener a Elmer. Elmer, usted pregunta. Eric Lazo, usted contesta. Action. Your microphone, Elmer. Hmm. Por eso siempre me aseguro si se puede o no se puede. Ok, Eric, usted pregunta y Claudia de Salgado, usted contesta. Action. What sports do you play? I play hockey and basketball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends for work. Well, Where do you play? play and at Oyster Park. Oyster Park. How often do you practice? Uh, we practice uh, one or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's correct, excellent. Very good pronunciation, good job. Let's go with Karina. Karina, you are going to ask. Usted le va a preguntar a Madeline. Action. Madeline, usted contesta. What sports do you play? I play hockey. Hockey, ¿cómo es? I play... En béisbol, este como dice? Hockey. hockey en béisbol. Hockey, hockey. <laughs> hockey. Okay, yo también quiero un hockey. <laughs> I play hockey en béisbol. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who? Who? Who do you play baseball with? I I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Mm -hmm. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. Mm -hmm. How often do you practice? We practice once, one, uh, once or Wednesday or and, twice or twice and weekend a week a weekend a week uh, a week a week a week when do you practice we practice we practice on Sunday what time do you start we start at three o'clock in the morning. Ten. Ten. All right, excellent. Thank you. Very good job. That's correct. Listen up. Aquí les puse, miren, la pronunciation. No es la pronunciación correcta porque en realidad en los libros de gramática aparece la pronunciación correcta escrita. 
pero la que nosotros podemos improvisar aquí para twice es esta, twice, right? Yes. La que ustedes pueden empezar a manejar ahorita es esa, twice, para que recuerden cuál es la pronunciation. Good job, excellent. Let's go with Carlos. You ask to Ingrid. Action. Yo pregunto. Yes. Okay. What sports do you play? The mic, Ingrid. <laughs> Ahorita. Lo que pasa es de que ya lo había activado, pero me salió un, una cosa iba. I play hockey and the bas, bas, no, no era basketball, sino que <laughs> baseball. Baseball. Ah. Voy a decir basketball, boys. <laughs> baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends, some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice um, once, um, once, once, uh, twice a week. Yes. When do you practice? We practice ah, on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good, excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Y ahora he ido adoptando todas las palabras para no, pero esa de, de esa es Bollywood. Esa definitivamente baseball. es baseball. <laughs> es baseball, ya me, o sea. Y eso yeah, que la tengo no, no. Sorry. No, se, no se preocupe, mire, yo tenía un compañero siempre en la universidad que le confundía la palabra, no es la palabra, es el nombre de un país, Ohio, right? O de una city, no, de una city creo que es Ohio, y entonces se escribe Ohio, entonces él así lo leía, Ohio. <risa> so don't worry, a todos nos pasa, siempre tenemos ahí una palabra que it's always hard for us. <risa> Excellent, Ingrid. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Claribel. Claribel, you ask. Usted pregunta, Victor Galdames, you answer. Usted contesta. Action. Okay. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. How do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We Where have a team. Oh, sorry. Where do you play? Uh, we play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or tw twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good job, excellent, very good. Ahí está donde les digo que nuestro cerebro, it's so beautiful, nuestro cerebro es tan hermoso que siempre nos ayuda a ir acoplando las palabras. Noté que Víctor había dicho, creo que twice o algo así, y rapidito lo acomodó a como era, twice. Very good, excellent. That's what I want for you guys. Eso es lo que les deseo, que ustedes puedan reconocer when you're making a mistake. Vamos con Eduardo Mejía. Usted pregunta, Jimmy Flores, you answer. Usted contesta, Jimmy. Action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. What do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We having a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once, uh, once or three a week. When do you pra practice? We are practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start often o'clock in the morning. Very good, excellent, thank you. 
Uh, let me check. Jimmy, repeat after me. Once or twice. Once or twice. Or twice. Ajá, literalmente, ¿cómo está aquí? Twice. Twice. Uh -huh. Very yo, good. Yo creía, teacher, que era twice. No, no, it's twice. Twice. Very good. Twice. Yeah, twice. definitely. Okay, let's go with the next one. Eh, Mayra, you ask. Usted pregunta, Mayra. Eh, Kevin, usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad? No. Okay, you answer. Usted contesta. Kevin, action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. What do you What do you play baseball? Why? I play with repeat. some friends. Repeat, Mayra. Who? 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 Ah, uh, ah, uh, who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good, excellent, good. Good pronunciation, everyone. Let's go with, creo que me falta Alfredo. Okay, Alfredo, you ask, usted pregunta. Eh, Jaime Ortiz, you answer, action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. He have a team. Where do you play? We play in Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. A week. Repeat, Jaime, when once. Uh, twice. One, twice. No, once. Once ah, or twice. Once. Once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. once. Once. When do you practice? We practice on we Sundays. Practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start we at start 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good, excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Very good. I said te escucha. ¿eh? <laughs> Carla, really? Me hizo falta usted, Carla. Sí, también Giovanni creo que me hace falta, right? Perfect. Carla, you ask, usted pregunta, y Giovanni, you answer. Action. Okay. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good, that's correct, thank you. Great job with the pronunciation, you got no mistakes. Please remember, donde usted tenga una duda en una pronunciation, puede preguntarme, okay? That's my job, that's my purpose. Ese es mi trabajo y mi propósito. Que usted mejore su pronunciation. So, let's go with the guiding structure. WH war plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. La mayoría de ustedes ya maneja porque en el primer nivel vieron las WH words. Ya manejan el hecho de que tenemos what, where, who, 
how, which, right? Ustedes ya conocen when, tenemos también when. We have different uh, kinds of WH words. Y todas, de todas pueden hacer uso. Solo no tienen que equivocarse en el contexto que las van a utilizar. La estructura nos dice que después de posicionar una WH word, usted va a agregar un auxiliar. Estos son los auxiliares en el simple present, ya sea do or does. Carla, ¿cuándo utilizamos, cuándo es usual que utilizamos el does? A third person, teacher. Excellent, very good. Eso sí, no quiero que se me le olvide a nadie. Third person. Siempre que usted tenga el he, she, or it, o lo tenga sustituido por un noun, pero usted ya sabe que a uno de esos sujetos se refiere, usted tiene que utilizar does. Then you are going to use the subject, all right? El sujeto, then a verb, usted escoge el verbo que va a utilizar, lo demás, or the rest, complement, okay? Creo que ya todos copiaron esta structure. Let me move on. Me muevo entonces ahorita. A los guiding examples. What sports does Eunice play? Who do you play tennis with? Where does he play? How often do they practice? Vamos a pedirle a Madeline, please, que me lea number one and number two. Y Eric Lasso, three and four, please. What sport does Eunice play? Uh, who? Who? Who do you play tennis with? Excellent. Very good. Continue. Uh, Mr. Where does he play? How often do they practice? Excellent. How often do they practice? Very good. Excellent. Now, si usted quiere, le va a agregar complement, pero si nota, hay algunas que terminan con el verb, right? Por ejemplo, esta, todas siguen la secuencia de la estructura. La WH word. En este caso, tenemos... Una palabrita antes del does, all right? Pero eso no afecta. Luego tenemos the subject and the verb. So you are able to make use out of it. Creo que ya algunos tienen los examples. Me voy a mover a lo siguiente. Let me check. Guiding structure. Esta es otra estructura guía que tenemos. Take it into account. Porque esta es específicamente con el with, all right? Vamos en esta estructura. Esta estructura es para el who. All right. Let me check. Yes, para el who. Usted va a terminar con with. Ok. Dice, who plus do or does plus subject plus verb and noun plus with. Aquí le hace falta un question mark. Ok. Plus question mark. Esta estructura también se la dan a ustedes ahí en el video de la section 5. Por cierto, ¿cómo vamos con la sección 5, everybody? ¿Have you finished? ¿Ya terminaron? Finished. Finish. Finish. Hoy creo. Ok, ya. Yeah. Yeah, you, you still got today and tomorrow. All right. So, yeah, try to finish it today. Now, let me see. ¿Terminamos de copiar esta estructura, everybody? Excellent. Guiding examples. Who does Martin play basketball with? Who do you practice with? With whom does one play? All right. Usted puede, para esta otra no tienen estructura, pero la mencionaban ahí también en el video, por eso les puse un ejemplo. With whom? Si usted va a iniciar con el with, su pregunta, asegúrese de utilizar el whom, no va a utilizar el who. Right? Tiene que ser whom. Solo cuando tiene el with al principio. With este whom? Este sería quién es. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Very good. Does Juan play? All right. And let me see, Claudia, read number one, please. Y Carlos, two and three. Sería how does Martin play basketball? La siguiente también. 
Llama Carlos, thank you. Who do you practice oh. with? With whom does Juan play? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. There you go. You got the examples, ya tienen los ejemplos, llevan las structures. Trabajelo de la manera que a usted le parezca un poco más sencilla, por así decir. Now, llegó su momento, su momento de felicidad. <laughs> Practice time. Let me check. Uh, Victor, can you read instruction number one, two, and three, please? Okay, practice time. Word has a word class. Create at least four questions using WH word. Share your question with the class. Excellent, thank you. All right, let's create it, please. Las creamos, everybody, four questions. Teacher, what is the meaning war as a whole? Ah, work as a whole. Aquí se pronuncia whole, class. Uh, whole. Ah, uh, trabajen como clase, all right? Como una clase entera. Esa es una de las sentences o estructuras que nosotros los docentes tenemos que utilizar para no decir siempre work individually, <laughs> yes, sino que ya se escuche como en conjunto. Teacher puede poner estructura, es que no la copié. Yes. Esta, esta que es la, la primera. Everybody, casi lo olvido. Eh, ya en teoría creo que dijeron que ahora iban a estar ya disponibles los diplomas del módulo, right? Por si usted finaliza, pues puede descargar de un solo su diploma. Eh, claro está, no quiere decir que se va a dejar de conectar a las otras dos clases que faltan porque eh, hay un review final que yo quiero que veamos el jueves, que eso sí les va a interesar a todos. 
So, yes. Solamente eso quería comentarles para los que ya finalizaron o están a punto de finalizar. Ya está el diploma en la plataforma. Puede poner este, los ejemplos, por favor. Yes. Aquí está. ¿Finished, Alfredo? Yes. Ok, tell me, dígame. When do you work in your workshop? Uh -huh. When do you work in your workshop? Yes, it's correct. Who is she? Who is she? Mm -hmm. Uh, where do you live? Mm, espérame, who is she? No. Who is she? No, no está pegada a la estructura. Esa está mala. All right, la primera sí está correcta. Uh, with whom does he play soccer? Ajá, uh -huh. with whom does he play soccer? Or does she play soccer? Sí. Only. Eh, where do you live? Tampoco no está. Aplicado. Yes, where do you live? Si está correcta, exactly. Where tiene la WH word, do, el auxiliar que nos pide. You sería su sujeto, live ah. there. Si está correcta, el All right. Let's go with Carla, please. And we finish with Carla, porque ya we got no more time. Okay. The first. Who do you cook in the kitchen with? Uh -huh. Makes sense. And what kind of music do you like to listen? Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. And the last, and when does Maria go to the, the supermarket? Yeah, when does Maria go to the supermarket? Excellent, thank you. Okay, Madeline, deme una, please, porque we got no more time. Ya no tenemos tiempo, huh? Quería preguntar si estaba correcta. Where does it play? Where does it? Where does he play? Tal vez. His. Ajá, uh -huh, sí, porque el it's. Y el it's no puedo. Si es animal, si es algún animal, un objeto, todo lo que no sea ah, animal es... no puede ser el it. Ah, ok. Ah, pues. <laughs> Very good, excellent. All right, everybody, listen up. That's pretty much it for today's class. No me voy a olvidar de esta practice. Mañana iniciamos con esta práctica. Yo lo voy a hacer hasta que todos estén conectados para iniciar. All right? So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great night. Bye. 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 Bye.